My name is Irene Wong and I operate a television production company in New York City called IW Productions and what we do is lifestyle programming, mainly food, cooking, and travel. There's something about food that just sings on camera. Uh, it's beautiful imagery, it sounds delicious, it makes people hungry and to be able to capture those images on camera and then put a story underneath it it's got to be the most exciting thing for me to produce um, in a television format. Growing up in Brooklyn, New York, I was raised in a Chinese takeout restaurant. My grandparents were cooks and that's how they made a living. And every day after school I would go there and I would learn how to cook. So food to me and cooking was something that I've always loved. I've been doing food shows for 15 years, so I've seen a lot. I've worked with Giada De Laurentiis, Mario Batali, Bobby Flay, Ina Garten, Sandra Lee, Michael Chiarello, and I've also worked with a lot of chefs all over the world, and I've watched it evolve from being a studio show where it's just a host and four cameras and it's a dump and stir type of show, to traveling to, you know, the middle of the world, like anywhere in the world, and then just going to some village where there's no electricity, um, and then, you know, we might not speak the same language, but food is a common language, and that's what connects everybody. Doing a television show, if you're in a studio, it's usually about a 10 hour day to maybe shoot about four different recipes. If you're in a restaurant and we want to profile that restaurant and we want to shoot maybe three dishes, that's a 12 hour day. And that day can involve everyone arriving and unloading all the equipment, which can take two hours, to now setting up the food demo, to actually shooting the food demo, and now let's shoot the food demo again because we need a few extra shots, oh, that could look a little bit better. Sometimes there's an interview involved, and then of course there are beauty shots, and beauty shots alone can take hours to do because you want the food to look just perfect. You want it to look organic, you want it to look edible, but you want it to look so beautiful that it just kind of jumps through the screen. People often say that talent, people in front of the camera, can be a little bit difficult, Food can be very difficult. Um, food and ingredients, they have personalities. Um, you know, they don't like hot lights. You know, they don't like being out in the sun all day. Um, they need to be refrigerated. So you have to learn the intricate personalities of every ingredient that you touch. You have to know how to read a recipe. You have to be able to open a cookbook or tear out a, a, a recipe from a magazine and be able to understand how to execute that recipe, not only in a kitchen, but on, in front of the television. I always say to people, follow your passion. If you're really passionate about something, you will somehow end up at the right place at the right time, which is what happened to me. And when you're given that opportunity, make the most of it. Work your butt off. And in time, the right people will, will notice and they'll pay attention. And all of a sudden they'll say, hey, do you want to try this out? And then you're given more challenges. It's never about the title, it's never about the paycheck. The moment it becomes about either of those things, then that's not the job for you. If you love what you do, the money and the title eventually comes without you even realizing it. Um, because you love what you do, you love waking up, you love showing up, you don't mind how many hours the day entails, you don't mind how much stress you go through because you know at the end of the day when you sit at home and you turn on the TV and your show is on the air and millions of people are watching it, and you're proud of that, like there's nothing that beats that. That to me is the reward of working all these hours and dealing with all this stress because I still get to sit back in my own home and watch something I created. I might not have cooked it, but I've produced it. And I feel that that is my way of cooking for everyone in the country.